So, this is the flip hammer that everybody says is so cool and exciting. First off, I'd like to note, it's bigger than I expected it to be. Although, it is really cool compared to this piece of shit I'm using right now. Um, the zoom is very limited with this camera as compared to the one I'm currently using. And this is to power it on right here. One little button. The flip. The video quality is very good. It doesn't make these clicking sounds go as out of focus like this camera does I'm using. Um, that's pretty neat right there. And when you slip it down, it automatically locks back in. This port right here is to plug it into the TV, which I will demonstrate to you. Let me just record random, random shit real quick, because I need some video on here first. Okay. Recording. So, I'm going to get the video plug, which is this right here. Plug it into the flip. Hold on. And then plug it into the TV. Now, from here, you can see what I've recorded, and once I hit play, you can play it on the TV. To me, that's pretty neat. Now, what I dislike about this thing... Um, how confusing it is to delete something. Okay. Delete all. There we go. So, I deleted everything off it. I'm going to power it down now. And what's really annoying, because you expect something so cool and modern would have a awesome battery case for it rechargeable. <sighs> Pain in the ass to open, too. <sighs> it only takes double-A batteries. Unless you get some rechargeable ones. Which to me is kind of ridiculous. Most cameras, like this one I'm using, which is two years old, has rechargeable batteries. You just plug it into the wall and charge it. Kind of like an iPod or a Zoom. <laughs> plug her in and charge. Another thing that I was expecting with this camera that I did not see at I could have swore I saw one that advertised an SD port for an SD card. There's none to be found on this camera. Um, overall, it's awesome compared to the one I'm using right now. It has its qualities that this camera doesn't have, and it also has some disadvantages compared to this camera I'm currently using. So that's my review on the flip camera. So, we've switched over to my flip camera now, and I'm going to do a review on my old Kodak camera. I forgot the model, but it's an 8.0 megapixel. The first thing I've noticed when I first started using this two years ago was that every time when you go to take a picture or do a video, when you shine it in the sun, not that it's sunny out right now, it makes these weird lines across the screen if you've seen some of my videos. I mean, you can't see it now because it's not sunny out, but it's cool. Advantages this thing really has is it has a nice long zoom. However, I 
after a certain point, it just becomes very pixelated. So it definitely has its qualities in zoom, but not as good as they should be. Uh, you can switch between different modes to record with or take pictures with. You can switch between pictures and screening and doing shit. There's a menu, there's a review, there's delete, obviously. Other functions. You could share it. I'm not sure. I never tried that button. And I'm not sure what exactly it does. Um, uh, but when I first got this camera, it was really nice. It probably was better than this flip. Video quality was quite decent until it started screwing up and having focusing problems. Um, if you, I'm not sure you can tell because this camera gets a little blurry right here if I zoom in too close. All around this is all dented and such and dirty. And that's for me dropping it so many times in <laughs> my other videos on my other account. Um, it has a slot for an SD card. I got two batteries for this thing because my brother's camera broke and he had the same model as me. This is the battery it takes. And that's what the flip should have. Not a Kodak one, but something like this where you just stick it in the camera and plug it into a charger. Um, I also have an SD card slot. It's a 2 gig one. I had two 2 gig SD um, cards, but um, my other one broke. Fairly easy for me to plug into my computer and just, you know, retrieve the videos and pictures. Um, certain things I couldn't figure out on this camera, like what exactly, what function thing does what function and shit like that, but all I really needed it for was to um, do videos and take some pictures. That doesn't mean I'm never going to use this thing again because I got the flip. I still will be using this camera. It's just I won't be using it many much for videos anymore. Um, otherwise, this camera is just not bad. I mean, this is where you plug it in to put the charger in. I guess this is for whatever you want to add a stand to it. And as I said, this is where all dented and everything. Um, if you listen carefully, that clicking sound is it trying to focus, and it always does that. And this thing records roughly up to 35 minutes with the SD card included. It's a 2 gig SD card by itself, and only records up to 30 seconds. I'm not sure how many pictures it holds, because I've never reached that limit, but I've certainly reached the video recording limit with this thing multiple times. The battery life, which... I could um, roughly estimate, I think it lasts about four to five hours um, if you do it continuously. Um, if you were to do it on and off, it depends on how much you use it and how long you use it for and how many times you turn it on and off. I can't really say much for the flip that I'm using to record this because it takes double A batteries. Um, that's all I got to say about the Kodak 8.0 megapixel.